Oh, we didn't. We, we didn't, did we? Mm -mm. we so welcome yeah. to. Uh, welcome to somewhat live at the range. Somewhat live at the range. <laughs> We're trying, but it sounds like Facebook and the Graham having some issues. Well, I so we're live right now on our webpage. Yep. And the plan is that we will post this to our Facebook page once afterwards. Facebook is up and working properly. Yeah. You know, it used to be that people panicked when the power went out. Now people panic when social media goes out. Yeah, I can't post to my page. Oh my God, how, what am I how gonna do? How do I know do? what's going on? Huh? huh? My my feed, it don't, my it don't feed. Is, is, did the internet break or did we get banned? We broke the internet. We break the That's, internet. Maybe we broke the internet. Maybe Sam So welcome to live. Ish. Um, it's going to be a good show. I'm excited about our guest today. Yeah, we're not going to do the normal. We've got very little of in the news we're going to run today. Yep. Uh, we've got a special guest today. We've got Rob from Tactical Care Concepts. So I'm going to talk about, about some of the stuff we talk about pretty often, but yeah. uh, more in depth and more from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about uh, rather than <laughs> us that just pretend like I we know what we're talking that about. Remark. <laughs> yeah, right. Like we can read notes sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes I right? got pictures on there. I sometimes, got my cheaters. So. We can almost uh, get there. But yeah, so we got Rob in today. Rob um, Morton. We got right, a, he's Rob? doing a class this yeah. weekend. Um, so we will go over that kind of stuff. Uh, well, it's this is another example of why there's more to being ready, more to being self-sufficient, more to being prepared than just guns and stuff. You yeah, you don't just buy a gun, put it in your pants, and, and I'm go, good to we're go. good. That's not how it works. Yeah. So we're, uh, Rob's, we need uh, holsters, we need tourniquets, Rob's we need got a lifetime of experience in uh, tactical care, and uh, we're going to talk about th why it has a direct application to the civilian world. Why, if you're, you know, I, I started out by saying, you know, if you're in construction or ride a motorcycle, or you should know these, have these skill sets, and you, you said, are you alive? If you're breathing, if you you're alive and you want to stay that way, you should have so kind of a thing you should know at least. He's going to be bit. in with us in a couple of minutes. Let's just real quick shoot through what we got going on. Obviously, we got Sig Days going on all well, Sig Month kind of going Sig, on. All Sig Days going on right now, or Sig Month of yep. Madness uh, that we got going on right now. So anything you buy with Sig name on it, you're going to get tickets towards winning an X5. Um, yep. Members get double tickets. Double tickets for members. Yep. Um, and that's ammo, magazines, uh, Yeah, easiest optics. way, if, if, it if says you come SIG in, it, it counts. Whatever you're doing, pick up a box of, of the SIG ammo. Um, the I found it to be really well. It runs in my 1911, yeah. runs in my Not Glock, in my MP, yeah. runs in everything. Um, and it's cost effective on both ends of things. So. It's a uh, it's a value, and ultimately you have a chance of winning an X5. If you're yep. going to need ammo. Might as well pick up a box of the Sig stuff yep. and try it out. Um, well, on the 23rd and 20 or 22nd, 22nd, 23rd. 23rd so next Jacob White Friday and Saturday, we yep. got Jacob from uh, from Sig in. Um, he'll have the whole 2019 lineup. Uh, we'll have rifles, pistols, um, all the good stuff. Suppressors. Suppressors, stuff, um, to, stuff to shoot downstairs. Yeah, so you come in. Uh, we'll have some little tickets you pick up. It'll give you the chance to shoot up to five different guns, uh, or the same gun five times, whatever you want to do. Um, it'll cover with ammo and all that good stuff for that. Pick out the guns you want to shoot. We'll have them all set up. Load them up. Burn it down. Um, we've got a suppressor discussion we're going to do at five o'clock. Um, so at five o'clock, have all that. How do you get them? What's the process? Um, a lot of people still think that it's not something that you can, the average everyday guy can have. No, you I can. Which day? Uh, Saturday. The 23rd. So 5 o'clock Saturday, the 23rd. Um, so it'll be after we give away the X5, which will be Is there a four. class set up they can sign up for that online, Phil? Not yet, but we can make one. Yeah, not yet. We're going to be rolling that through. So 5 o'clock, you get in info. After the info portion, we'll go downstairs and do quiet things. Um, so. Yeah, with any hope, we can get it to where maybe we can even take ears off. Although, still indoors, still worry. Don't let, but yeah, don't we'll be doing some, that. some some testing on that stuff to see. Is It'll it, be fun. Is it safe? Yep. So, uh, and we're going to have sales and yeah. promotions going on through the, throughout the day. We're going to have some sales on our SIG stuff yep. in store. We're going to do it. Those tickets that you get for anything that you buy that's SIG related, 
Uh, we're going to do a drawing at, uh, what do we say, 4, four o'clock on Saturday? 4 o'clock on and Saturday. we're giving away a P320X5. Yes, correct? and you do not have to be here to win that, um, although it would be awesome if everybody was yeah. here so that the winner is here so that we can actually get your pistol right away. Well, the cool thing about having the SIG rep here is, you know, we get a lot of people that are like, should I get a P320? What's the difference between a 226 and a 229? You can get to shoot those. Do I do the small one, the medium, the yep. big one? Yep. Um, How does this grip feel, that grip feel? Yep. What's the new tread shoot like? Yeah, we can show you. He's going to have one. So yes. I like that rifle, by the way. I do too. Great platform. Um, overall, I, I think it's a really good starting platform, just like when Springfield first came out with their, their Saint. I yep. think it's a really good mm -hmm. starter platform. Um, you get quite a bit for your money. There are some things that individually I'm not a big fan of. Um, There's still things that you would change But it's because out of, of my shooting yeah. style, mm -hmm. and I do a lot of competition stuff where I'm putting 30, 40, 50 rounds through a gun in a rapid succession over a short duration, and I think the handguard needs a little more airflow for me. Um, I get it. But if well, you're not they, doing they, a lot they, of rapid fire, yeah, well, Sig it's designed not that enough. rifle specifically as kind of a this is what I, this is the Barbie doll in blue jeans. How do I want a dresser? Yeah, and you can change it all up. And it's very it reasonably cool. priced. Um, it uses that M400 so, receiver base, you know, that, which is a solid base. Oh my the, gosh. the M400 really itself good. is a really nice setup. So yeah, I um, anyway, I'm Sig, Sig month, come enjoy it. Sig month, Sig days, all that good stuff. And, we and have. If you're a member. Um, for the month of March, we'll clean two guns for you for free. Yep, mob cleaning, so yep. two guns for free. Yep. Um, did we also say members get double the ammo on Friday and Saturday? We did not, but yeah. yes. So members are gonna get double the ammo, um, so it's still a good time to sign up to become yep. a member so you get extra freebies. Yep. Everybody likes freebies. Okay. Cool so, beans. Other new cool stuff that's going on right now. We've got the low light match tomorrow night. Um, it's already booked up. We've got a couple people on the waiting list already and so forth. So if you're not going to be able to make it, drop beforehand, please, so that those guys on the wait list can get in. Big one is practical tactical next week. So next week's match will be practical tactical. I'll be out of town, so I won't get to play in that. But um, sign ups will go on for that starting Saturday at 9 a.m. Uh, again, this is very much focused towards the concealed carry mindset. Um, for those that are familiar with Tactical 2-Gun over at Sparta, you can still run that. We will have the combat class. You'll have a little bit of a different operation there. Um, CCW mindset, you're looking at between 6 and 10 rounds per string. So if we've got a bigger stage, it'll be broken up into two strings so that way run what you brown, um, your actual EDC stuff. So if you're an appendix carrier, if you're a three o'clock, five o'clock, all good. Um, we do want you to show proficiency before we're drawn from inside the waistband, but uh, it's something that we're gonna take very organic at this point, um, but practical tactical, very focused on knowing what you're shooting, being behind cover, True defensive tactics are gonna be a big advantage here. Um, it's not about going super fast, it's going about going super accurate and conscious of what you're doing. So think training with a score. Um, so that'll be coming up training, next Thursday. Yeah, training with measurement doesn't mean you have to win, but it's just good, yeah. it's good solid training. Right. Um, we've got defensive handgun and tactical triage on Saturday. Um, that's this coming Saturday, and I believe there's still spots for both that are uh, available. So jump on, get on that there. We'll talk about the tactical triage class here in just a little bit more, uh, in just a little bit. We got CCW on Sunday, IDPA classifier on Monday, um, Marshall Blade Concepts is next Saturday. There's still some spots open for that, so jump in there, learn how to to slice people up. So <laughs> train this weekend on how to bandage up, and then next weekend how to make the damage, and then you'll have like be more rounded. Full skill set. Yeah. So uh, we had a guy. Uh, we've had a couple of our uh, uh, regulars come in and members, in one of them. Um, uh, the Marshall Blades concept. What uh, what's the trainer's name? Do we know that off the top of our head? I don't have it in front of me. Uh, but he saw the flyer in the store and he goes, "Oh, that guy's legit." He yes. Goes, this guy right here. You know, a lot of people say that they can train knife skills. He goes, "This is the guy that you want to learn from." Yeah, and I mean, he like the tactical or the Marshall Blade concepts is a mindset of how yep. to utilize these things. What yep. uh, where what where how. All that good stuff, and uh, I can't. Phil, you got the, his name? It's Vince. Uh, 
Vince. Anyway, he, he Vince. Yeah, Moeller, and this is a guy. Vince, uh, but he's the guy that yeah. learned. No, not Vince Gill. Um, Vince learned from the original, original right. guy right. from Marshall Blade Concepts, right. and he is one of the approved. This guy is no joke, certified yeah, to Janik's, official. Michael Janik's the one who started Marshall Blade Concepts. Yeah, Michael Janik started it. And he tra Vince, Vince trained directly like with him. Stabbing yeah. yeah, so <laughs> stabbing dummy. That no, but he and, well, and, 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 and the gentleman that was talking about it, he is a serious knife guy. He does a lot of Filipino Philippine knife fighting stuff and. He goes, yeah, this guy's legit. You're, this is going to be a great class. So I'm excited about it. Yeah, so it'll be cool. Um, and it's during our SIG day. So come and yeah, learn perfect. how to slice stuff up and then come out and shoot some guns afterwards for free. Perfect, perfect. So let's so, talk about... Without further ado... Tactical triage. Yeah, let's so bring Rob in. Uh, so welcome, Rob. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> how y'all doing? This is where the peanut gallery would come in handy. <laughs> peanuts? I like peanuts. Yeah. yeah. What was no, the peanut gallery? <laughs> See, now we have extra five weeks. Way to be. How are you, bro? Good. good. How are you doing? Good to see good you. Good seeing you. Hi, Rob. Hey, How are you doing, hey, man? I'm why great. don't we start? Why don't you tell folks? You, we've had John before, but give folks the thirty-second who I am tour. Uh, pretty quick. I am still. I save this off once a month. I'm still a tactical medic in the army. Um, so what I do is I'm a master instructor for tactical combat casualty care. And we translate that, Tactical Care Concepts translates that training into a civilian-based program. Not that um, you're going to miss anything uh, as far as that goes, but the way we uh, teach it, train it, and the verbiage. We've, we've kind of toned it down so that everybody can get it. Um, the youngest student we've had in the class was 12, oldest was 84. So um, coming in with no medical experience is just as good as if you're coming in as a, a flight paramedic. You're going to learn something. Um, it's all based on the TC3, um, Tactical Combat Casualty Care concept. So it all lines up with NAEMT, which kind of regulates what we do as far as teaching. Um, it's just a very basic, uh, if you own a gun, if you want to be prepared for any type of trauma, this is going to uh, translate into not just shooting events, blast events, where there might be a, a domestic terrorism or a terroristic event, but those skills can be used for tornadoes, earthquakes, car accidents. It's trauma, and that's what we go to. I think, I've talked about this before, I'm, I'm a big believer in having that skill set. You, you and I were talking earlier, you know, you ride, I, I ride, Phil rides. I, I know there are a lot of instances, guys, people have been in a motorcycle incident mm -hmm. that really is fairly minor, but end up with, with uh, fatalities because of bleed outs and yes. things like that. You know, that's, that's a common thing. Um, uh, how, you know, people are going to drive up on car accidents. You're going to have somebody at some point in time in the kitchen cut themselves, or some yep. kid's going to step on a bottle and it's going to be ugly. You know, yep. any number of things can happen, and I think that that people just need to break away from the oh, that's a tactic. That's a, that has a tactical application. It has everyday application. Yes, it does. You know, I don't know how many times I've been at football games or wrestling meets or soccer matches, and somebody gets hurt pretty good. You yep. know. <laughs> Uh, and being able to have a skill set that's going to allow you to treat that and increase. Really, we're all about adding survivability, right? right? Increasing Absolutely. Increasing survivability. So. You, know, you mentioned uh, motorcycles. So I actually have a uh, down motorcycle trauma course designed specifically for those riders. And it's a two-hour course. And that's what's really cool about it, um, is that you can take this information and you put it into a specific uh, event, and then you build it around it. So tornadoes. We're just going to talk about those type of injuries you're going to see in a tornado. You, we don't have to go all the way down the block. We just sure, need to right. stay right here, make it simple, make it easy and applicable for anyone who comes into the class. So, so um, why don't you talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing here on Saturday? So it's, uh, it's a combination. You're going to get a little bit of the, the, the teaching. I do have a PowerPoint presentation. Promise not to bore you guys to fall asleep. Um, I'll throw a tourniquet we at got, you to wake you up. Coffee. Yeah, so. right? Um, but you're going to learn a little bit about the mindset, about the psychology of being able to respond. It's one of the things that we do um, in the military is we have to make sure that our, our, our soldiers are, have the ability to get past that sympathetic ner nervous system where they're going to fight or flight, right? They're going to yeah. do it or run. So we talk about that, about being mentally prepared, being physically prepared, don't overdo it. You don't want to ever put yourself in that uh, dangerous position of compromising your safety. Your safety comes first. We're going to talk about um, what 
tactical triage is. There's a difference from tactical triage and triage. Tactical triage is looking out there and seeing what you're sensing and smelling and, and seeing with your eyes before you actually engage. So you can tell a lot about how far that victim is as far as being uh, uh, close to death um, or if you should treat them or not treat them simply by looking at the amount of blood, how are they responding, how are they moving, looking at the base injuries, and all that is done within the first 10 seconds of, of surveying your area. Um, you, you're gonna learn how to assess that patient once you get up there, and then you're gonna learn the three levels of care. Just like the military, we have three levels of care. If you're in a, in, a, in dan a dangerous environment, you're only gonna do a limited amount. And then you have to secure that patient and yourself until that threat is gone, then you can actually get in there and do it. We're gonna talk about those techniques. Um, I usually end with uh, a, a part of it being improvised. You're not always going to have a tourniquet on you. You're not always going to have the Israeli bandage. Unless you're Phil. Unless you're Phil. Um, so uh, we're going to talk about what can you do with what you're wearing or what your casualty is wearing to use to practically stop that bleeding, sustain their life until further care can get there. This is all great stuff. In fact, a um, number of reports, you know, I hate to use a, a really bad thing that happened to, bring, to make a point, but in the Las Vegas shooting. Yes. There were thankfully people in that crowd who had this kind of training that were using t-shirts mm -hmm. to make tourniquets, yep. that were stealing trucks and triaging yep. people and identifying who needed to get to the hospital right now. Fine, same thing in the fires in, Cal in California. Yep. And, yep. Uh, I mean, yep. there's the a tornado number of different saw ones down where south. Yep. you get these vets that, uh, like you were saying earlier, Rob, I mean, those vets, I mean, while you're in active duty, it's every year you gotta go yep. through and get recertified. These guys have it ingrained in their heads, so when something happens in the rest of their world, I mean, they're calm, cool, and collected and know what to do when, and the more people we have that have that knowledge, the more people that we can get so safely to a hospital. And, and, right, and recognizing who you have around you that has these skill sets, um, anybody in the military has to go through this training now. Air Force, Navy, I know when I was on Air active- Air Force? Yes. When I was going through active, when I was on active duty in 2017, uh, I was part of the GISTO team and we trained Air Force, Navy, and Army personnel to go through the special medical operations. We call it combat lifesaver, which is basically what I teach in a, in a shorter version here before they deploy. They have to, we, they have to meet our marks. It's a four, a four day course, very intense. Yeah, that, another thing you said that really struck a nerve with me is the mindset that you have to have in order to be able to perform. That whole, is this really happening? Yes, it's happening, get moving, mm -hmm. right? Um, being able to, I call it throwing a switch. I mean, um, it's not at the same level, but when you're an athlete practicing versus an athlete that steps onto the playing field, you have to throw a mental switch and turn you things do. off and turn things on. And being able to recognize that and teach that and train that up front, I think is huge. So here's another difference that we do here in, in my courses. Taking that military concept of hands-on lane training, we, once you go through the course, you, there's a practical, you have to run. And that's where you're actually pulling that patient, you're actually assessing them, you're actually applying the tourniquets the right way or the improvised uh, method the right way. We do that here. It's in a smaller version, but in the four hour course, we actually bring in live models. That's awesome. Um, that brings us to the tactical trauma teacher course that we taught last spring. We actually had five children come in that we moulaged, we, we made them look like they were dying. And then once the teachers went through that four hour block of instruction, they went into our boom room where we had the kids in various states of uh, distress and, and it just, it freaked them out. But they had to go I, in and treat them. I can imagine when you see a kid yeah. in those kind of situations yeah. that it can be really hard. Very. Yeah. Really hard. I, I, I really like the mental preparation part of, of your game. So we brought some stuff in that we thought would be good to talk about things that people might want to have available to them. and. I thought maybe you'd kind of give Absolutely. us a... Absolutely. Yeah, why is this good? About this last why would you too, want so. something like that? And we did touch on this last week. So, so. so having something pre-made that you know is proven, all of this stuff you see in front of you is military proven. It's been tested on the battlefield. It saves lives. One of the greatest inventions that actually was used back in Napoleon's time is a tourniquet, but the cat tourniquet and the various tourniquets that are on the market have done more to save lives on the, in, in the battlefield because basically you're stopping that bleeding and you can bleed out in less than five minutes. So you're simply putting on a tourniquet, this is one of the best tools you can have. What's cool about this, these pre-packages, it's giving you everything that you need 
and I was really happy to come in and see them on your end caps. So you can come into the range. Um, actually, I will be teaching how to use all of these. It's what I do anyway, but they went ahead and they uh, have it for you available. So either before or after the class, if you want to purchase these, you don't have to go online. They have them right here. But it's everything in this pack. You have a, an Israeli bandage, a rescue bandage. You're going to get gloves in here, the cat tourniquet. Um, some of the packages go more advanced with a clotting agent. We can talk about that in the class as well too, but about clotting agents. Um, but having something like this, I think this is Phil's, Mm -hmm. um, he wears this on his ankle. This is amazing. If you own a gun, if you go out shooting or hunting or you're going backpacking. That's a great point. Um, I'm hunting, sorry, but now if you're walking down to the Cardinals game. <laughs> Dope, yeah. After that carjacking, um, to have these things on you is just as important as having your gun. I agree. So, I think you're right. Yeah. And they do sell them here. Yeah. So that's not a plug. I'm just saying it's really nice coming in to see that. Well, uh, having the things available to keep people alive. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, Something that's, bad happens, you're going to be your own first responder. Absolutely. You're going to be there first, right? And it, we see it every day when something bad happens. There are citizens there that make the difference or don't make the difference when something bad happens. Yep. You know? right. So the more of us that are out there that are prepared to, not just with tools, but with skill sets and mindset, to step into the ugly mm -hmm. and save lives, mm -hmm. it's a great, great thing. And it takes training. It's it's like shooting you know you buy the gun if you're intimidated it's going to sit on your shelf but once you start training and understand what it can do save your life right or save someone else's mm -hmm. life then you put more value on it and you're going to come in and you're going to train on it same thing with your medical training just because you're intimidated at first i promise you the more you do it the more comfortable it becomes then it's going to be second nature when something happens great point yeah I'm excited to have you. We still have room in the class. Yep. We're going to do, uh, talk about the uh, clinic for the teachers. Yes. So uh, we're really proud. Uh, tactical care concepts and the range are coming together. We are giving um, the local teachers the ability to come in for a four hour. We call it the tactical trauma teacher class. It's free of charge. The teachers will not be charged. Um, we do have some local companies that are sponsoring the teachers. It's like 50 bucks a teacher. That just covers the cost of the material. We are donating the range and uh, the, the training time for those teachers to come in. And again, it's, uh, it's, it's really unique. We talk about the traditional way of doing it. I bring out my wound packer where we actually fill it with blood and you gotta shove, yeah, right? It's like that <laughs> it too. It is gross. It you is gotta gross. shove your, you gotta shove your hands way. down in it's that wound. In a gross way, it's gross because I can way. tell you how to do it, but if you don't actually get your hands in and get that blood on those gloves, you're not going to feel that. So we actually show you what I do in, in, uh, on the active duty side is we actually show them how to pack that wound. So we bring in our wound packers, uh, they go through that training, and then they do the boom room where we actually have live casualties that they have to treat. It's, and we're looking at another course coming up here real, real soon. So if you're interested, if you know a teacher, uh, administrator, uh, please have them sign up at the range. You can go in and sign up at the range or contact the range. Um, through the website, or you can call up and talk to Phil or, or one of the guys here. Sign up, and um, we'll put on the class for you. So, how many how many students can you have in a class? The last class we had was about 20 students. I was blessed, and I can still do it again. I pulled in some of my soldiers from my reserve unit. Um, oh, okay. So I'll bring in some of my medics, and if we get a big class, a bigger class, then I'll just use them as well. They would love to come Excellent. out and have some time out here in uniform and and uh, help you guys. Because again, those they're experts too. They've yep. they've been taught this for. For the last 15, 20 years, they know how to do it. So and Rob won't say it, but I will. If you know businesses that want to help support this whole training class, yeah, yeah. the idea is that the teachers, we want to be able to give the teachers this class for free. Right. We don't want to charge the teachers, but we want them to have A, the knowledge, and then B, the other thing, part of the reason it's that, you know, that $50 is you actually provide these guys with basically tools. the demonstration tools. Yes. Yes, it still works. However, it's not. It's something that you want to continue to use for practice. Yes. Get the one that you're going to actually carry as a sealed yep. unit. But so, if you know any businesses or individually you want to help sponsor somebody, to help. Um, yep. reach out to us and, and we'll put you in touch yep. with how to help sponsor yep. some of these teachers. So, if you are a teacher or you want to be a sponsor. Get a hold of us, we'll set it all up to, to help as many people as we possibly can. Absolutely. And, yeah. What's that? Email me. Email yeah. phil at therangestl.com. Yeah. Phil with a PH 
IL. IL at the range STL.com. Also, or training at to range, qualify to attend this class for free, you will have to have some educa educator creds. Yes. You're going to have to have something yeah. that identifies you as an educator. But there is no limit whether you're teaching kindergarten, preschool, or high school, University. or college. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Exactly. So, and if you're an administrator, please, because what we'd like to do is get to the point where we can take it out to the schools. And I'm going to be honest with you real quick. There are companies out there, or a company out there that's running to the schools and doing this training, and it's great training. I'm not going to take anything away from it, but it's an addition too. So what we're doing is we're strictly focusing on after you get your active, uh, your active shooter training, we're going to come in and show you exactly what to do when you have to pull that kid behind the door and barricade in place and you only have five minutes to save his life because he's been shot. It's very, very different uh, on intensity level and you get more hands on to do it. So it's worth us I coming out really there. I really appreciate yeah. you doing that. And it's, again, you know, you're, you are donating your valuable time, your uh, resources and uh, because you believe in it so much absolutely so, could be my kids that really, they're saving yeah absolutely so. absolutely so and i you know my kids are pretty much grown and out of that system but i would feel much better as a parent knowing that mm -hmm. you great kids 25 or 50 educators and administrators that know how a tourniquet works know how a combat gauze works or, a, or a, an israeli bandage works and they feel better for it absolutely yeah absolutely and this is something we can put in every teacher's desk and yeah. I don't know of anybody that could complain about having a teacher that is a little more prepared. Right. Um, it's not like the... Well, there's... This, you the, can put this right... The active next, protection. Put that right there. next to their Glock 19. Yeah, all right. Well, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Like, what? We, I, I agree. <laughs> Oh, I agree, but stapler. this would definitely be next to the stapler out in public. So. I actually have something going on the side. I actually uh, was talking to the governor's office. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, but we're, we're talking about hiring vets to come in and train this in the, in the, uh, in the schools. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about setting up specific type of trauma stations uh, and then training out of them. So, but we're looking for uh, yep. initiatives right now. So. Well, we're excited to have you, Rob. Rob. So go to the website, click on training. This month, tactical there are still triage. spots available. For Grab that tra tactical triage spot. You can call us, 636-220-1300. Email phil at therangestl.com. We'll get you taken care of. Now you can always contact me. Uh, my Facebook is Rob Morton or Tactical Care Concepts. Actually has a Facebook page. You can go in and message me there as well. Morton is M-O-U-R-T-O-N. That's correct. Rob Morton. Yep. We'll right. put links and all that good stuff. That way yeah, everybody yeah. can get a hold of everybody That's a great idea. there as well. Cool. Uh, if Facebook worked, we could do that. Well, we're eventually we'll post it up there. <laughs> yeah, quite Appreciate a lot. Thank brother. you. All right. Yeah. Thank Always you good much, to see you. I'm going to I'm gonna skip out and listen to the rest of the show. Is that you cool? can listen Sounds right good. there. Yeah. Oh, can, oh, all right. Cool. Yeah, we got a uh, quick rant on, come on, I, we, we go down this Oh, my gosh. You told me about this this morning, and I was like, what? Yeah, so what? we have all these, we're just going to say, these politicians that are telling us that more laws, more laws, we more, have laws. more laws. It's what stops all the gun violence or... Well, I guess it's not really worked for him yet, but I think it's going to stop him. Mur what murder has been illegal for a long time. They're going to figure out one of these laws that's going to stop the gun <laughs> control or the gun problem. Well, you know what the law is that so they want that's going to stop it, right? Well, yeah, but it no won't guns. stop it. So ultimately, you have these awesome displays of how that whole do as we say, not as we do, as AOC has really been good at lately. But uh, so in New York, we have the SAFE Act, yeah, no, no guns, blah, 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 but we have a police officer who was just charged in New York City for making, let's see, he's on charges of manufacturing guns at his upstate home and selling them to motorcycle gang members. Hmm. Dozens of these things, hmm. including we're laughing. This is not no fun. serial numbers, um, non traceable. Altered, they said something in there that said absolutely not traceable. They firearms. would be impossible to trace. Law, and he's a cop. And he's a cop in New York City, yeah. in the middle of. Uh, but the, there are the laws against act. that, so like, that's not really happening, is it? Well, I mean, it's against the law. Yeah, there's all kinds. Of, so uh, bad yeah. guys don't really pay attention that's to the sad. laws. I'm kinda, that's sad, bro. I mean, That's sad. more strict areas. You got Chicago. They're real good at stopping violence. Hmm. New yeah. York City. Yep. Um, well, New York. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's like. <laughs> oh, stop. We have enough laws. Stop. Let's just do my like common, we're doing here. It's illegal, hurts. and we're going to prosecute this officer. Like, my, oh, it's just, my common sense nerve is 
at its end. So yeah, come on. That's, yeah, that's bad. It's come up with laws that like work. Good like man. you know, get a gun, train. Yeah, that should be a law. Yeah, you, you must have protection anyway. Yeah. Mm, don't ask me how I feel because I might tell you. So quick ramp, but so yeah, I got nice. a hero. Hero. The Missouri Senate, except for the, um, I, I can't, I don't want to, I don't want to say it out loud. I, Phil's even over there going, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> except for those that may be introduced this bill, but uh, Missouri SB 42, we have on good authority, is uh, going to be DOA. And that was Missouri's attempt at introducing red flag laws in well, the state. One schmuck's attempt to yeah. put red flag laws And for in those, I mean, Missouri. we've talked about it ad nauseum, but red flag laws are absolutely unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. It's me just making an accusation against him because I don't like his beard. And the, that timing was really good. I don't know if they heard that or not. <laughs> I think he was mad. Whoever's down there is mad. That we had a metal strike, strike down there. Beards. As soon as I did this, pong, there it is again. Somebody should tell them to get on radio, get that fixed. So anyway, all I have to do is not like Chris for some reason, and I can file a complaint that says he is, a, I, he, I'm in fear because of him. And the police can show up and take his guns. He has no recourse. Right. He's not innocent until proven guilty. Uh, it's absolutely You're guilty not until a proven constitutional innocent at that point. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and there's no saying whether you can even get the guns back oh, afterwards. Yeah. Oh, you know, you um, won't. Once they're taken. So those red, those red flag laws exist in California and Maryland and New York. And I think there's, there are, and there's the one that guy that them. just, uh, maybe that's where he's getting his guns from to saw off. And uh, <laughs> Could be, yeah. but there is a just make a complaint. Yeah. Yeah. Get a gun. Happen yeah. where the the one was had said something about the other guy. It was his brother-in-law that he was fighting with. Or yeah, something, and wasn't so it? the red flag law pops in. They go to take the guns. Gets ends killed. up dying yep. in the process. Yep. Um, yep. And they were broken at like five o'clock yep. in the morning. He ends up dying in the process, and turns out in the long run that they were upset because one of them owed the other one hundred bucks, fifty or bucks, yeah. or something, something like that. Um, so anyway. Kudos so, to Missouri, awesome your, state, yeah. supporting our Second Amendment rights to defend ourselves, to take care of ourselves. We live in a great place. If you live in Illinois, move over here to America. We'll yeah. have you. We'd love to have you. You got a bunch of people that are trying. You just got to learn how to drive better, though. That's all. Oh no, I I would I would I, I, well yeah. The left lane I mean, is not for traveling. Survival of the fittest. And yeah. If they're driving over here, they better the left ship lane, up or they're going to get run out. Left lane is not for traveling; it's for overtaking. Yes. Yeah. Which means passing. <laughs> and then all right, get out of the way. So that's it. Look us up. Look Rob up. Um, come check us out. Uh, get signed up. Get some classes. Come on. see us for Sig days. Come shoot. What happens if you sign up for the class? You save a life. You get to oh. show up and learn stuff. <laughs> and you get half off of one other what? class. What? Really? Yeah. I didn't. If you Wait. sign up for the technical triage class, you can buy one of our classes at half off. Oh, oh that's oh. awesome. Yeah. I'm signing up that then. we started off with that one. So if you sign up for the tactical triage, you get another one of the range classes half price. So whether it be defensive That's one, not the free educator class. That's yeah. not that yeah. one. Well, the free but, educator class, as long as you're an educator, you get that one free. You don't even have to spend the half price. You don't price. get another class at half off. But <coughs> if you come to the, right. the our triage class on Saturday, pay for that class, yep, sign up you for can that grab one. another class hmm. at 50% off. Yep. CCW, basic handgun, defensive handgun. Um, the Marshall Blades wouldn't fall into that because that's an outside trainer. But anything right. that we do here, you get half off of. So. But if you sign up for Marshall Blades Concept, you also get the same deal. You still get half yeah. off of any I, other I class. So either one of those why, two classes. Why wouldn't you take his class and then get half off your CCW? And man, you're you're down the road. You're golden. Yeah. To take, to kick, to. Or defensive handgun one. Yeah, if you've already absolutely. got your CCW. Because that way yep. you're just more and more prepared. Keep and moving and shooting is fun. I mean, just be honest. <laughs> hey, when you come to the class, ask me about my mitts. Oh yeah. The yeah. multi-injection training system, the military is looking at it now. It teaches how to give IVs, needle decompression for tension pneumothorax, and advanced models. You can do wound packing. Everything fits in the, say, fits in the tube, super cool. and you put great, this in your great, cargo pocket. So great training it's a tool. great trainer. Plus, yeah. this takes tattoos, just in case. You can tattoo it. You if can you want suture to. it. It's great stuff. So ask me about it when you come in. Yeah, they are, they are awesome. All right. If you have any questions, let us know. Come see us at the Range, St. Louis West, 14803 Manchester Road, 636-220-1300, therangestl.com. And a partridge and a pear. See ya. Thanks for tuning in. You ready? <laughs>